Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Strong Collectors Podcast. I'm your host Dakota, here with my co-host Jordan, and today we're going to be talking about a HasLab created by McFarlane. Now, technically what? It's not, it's not technically a HasLab, but essentially it's a HasLab. Now, we think back to when the Engine of Vengeance was running and McFarlane had put out that like Batman monster truck. Mm-hmm. And people were kind of comparing the two. I don't think that was really a fair comparison because, yeah, the Haslab was much engine cheaper. of vengeance, but but even the engine of vengeance, like you could just tell that like that was a better product. Like it came with more like bells and whistles, like the light up features. I don't know if I would really like give too many extra points to Haslab for it lighting up because it's yeah, it is it is cool. Like for sure, you want it to light up like that. But it was like a monster truck, but like. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the shell of a monster truck. Not really that cool in my opinion, but it was still like 60 bucks, I believe. Mm-hmm. Didn't come with any figures, so there is that to think about. But now we know... I'm just saying thing. 60 versus the 250. Or what was it? Wasn't it 350? 350. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So <laughs> I forgot how overpriced that thing was. <laughs> so now McFarlane... Oof. Now, this has been a little bit of time now, so McFarlane has put out the Batwing, which I think most co- closely can be considered his HasLab. Yeah. And he's got the Batwing out for 250 and then mm-hmm. he's also got not necessarily the same level as a HasLab, but there is the Batmobile that was $60. Mm-hmm. And that's, as of, like, this morning was up on Amazon. We both ordered that. Um, but, like, I think if you're comparing, like, the Batmobile to the engine of vengeance the engine of vengeance is clearly a better product is it 350 dollars better i still That's don't what think I'm so saying. yeah but the fact that mcfarland can put out a car that fits a full-size seven inch batman for, for 60 bucks 60 bucks <laughs> i think he's just given two big middle fingers to hasbro <laughs> saying you guys can't even imagine being on my level <laughs> But then, like, so I think, like, if we're going to compare Haslabs, though, you got to compare, like, the Batwing to the Engine of Vengeance. The Batwing is 250 The Engine of Vengeance was 350 mm-hmm. What are your thoughts there, Jordan? It still seems like it favors McFarlane to me. I don't know. I agree. I mean, I guess the unfair thing is if you're talking about the Haslab, you're talking about tiers. Mm-hmm. So then you have to factor in, are we saying just the base offering or are we comparing if you would have unlocked everything you know because that i think that affects it but if we're saying just base value like straight up comparing haslab engine of vengeance to the batwing i'd have to give that to the batwing just as being Mm -hmm. more way more bang for your buck for what it is i think yeah honestly i agree too because like i'm sure that like the detail is probably going to be a little bit more in favor of the engine of vengeance like we saw that in person i think that was a pretty yeah. cool offering i don't think it was 350 dollars cool but it was well, still i like... remember though at the time like some of the features they were bragging about like the radio is sculpted it's like yeah i don't need you to go in and sculpt the radio <laughs> i can't even for see sure. it yeah so like exactly. some of that stuff like you said those details are like the the low or not the, low, the light up it mm-hmm. might be cool but it's like how did I really want actually... to pay for that? Because like, right. if you took that out, how much less mm-hmm. would it have been? I don't know. Yeah. And I do kind of wonder like if they had not made it light up and they had just made like flame effects, like we get with regular Marvel legends, just like colored plastic. Mm-hmm. Would that have brought the price down for people to be like, Oh, okay. This is like reasonable. Cause like, I mean, my Galactus up there lights up. I don't really yeah. care. Like, it's cool to like turn on and be like, Oh look, it lights up. And it's like one yeah. time. And like, was that really <laughs> worth the price of you having to do like all the electronics within this figure? I would say no, for sure. On Galactus and a Sentinel, it probably does yeah. make a little bit more sense where you want to have like that flame effect. But then I think about like, like photography and stuff, like you're not really going to, it's not going to come through as well. So I don't just, I agree. Yeah. The tears do make it kind of, challenging because the batwing the batmobile don't come with figures the engine of vengeance and even then where do you what do you say like does it come with robbie reyes does it come with a robbie reyes and a human form robbie reyes because if we had unlocked it within the first week then it would have but then we didn't so then that was taken off the table 
but then if you back it so much then you get these other yeah. three figures and that does kind of bring the value of the engine of vengeance up a bit mm-hmm. but i just i still think that like i'm going to stick with mcfarlane has given the double middle finger to hasbro <laughs> because he says i don't need your crowdfunding here's your action figure it's for sale right now buy it if you want it don't if you don't yeah i don't need a crowd fund so i think yeah. that also sways me towards the batwing yeah. and mcfarland just because you know it wasn't like a big uh, try to like get your friends to back it how many are you gonna back yeah. oh we've got to get so far to get like all the accessories yeah. unlocked he's just like here's the Here offering it is. that's it this is what you have i so, think people like that and the fact that it's supposed to be shipping in april right it's not like a Haslab where we have to wait a full it's like about year. a month at the most probably mm-hmm. yeah you're waiting for it yeah and the other thing too on top of that is the sheer size of this thing mm-hmm. is insane like it's bigger than galactus unless the is the batwing shipping later i'm thinking of the batmobile is shipping next the month. batmobile the... is definitely coming out in april the batwing let's see that might have been later i may have misspoke mm, i'm not seeing it like readily on here oh no it says uh ship date is may so one more month after the batmobile but yeah, so right. anyway, the size is... But still, I mean, that's two months that you got to wait. Right, versus that's hardly, the yeah, 12 versus that we had to year. for Galactus, yeah. Because so. by the time you get I mean, it's cool, but you're kind of like the hype of the announcement mm-hmm. feeds into getting the product, right? Right. So if you have to wait a year, it's still cool, but it's like, oh man, that would have been sweet if I could have gotten it like right, right when... Remember when at first we were... Oh yeah. <laughs> that was just so cool. It was right. still cool to get it. Mm-hmm. But I think, like, for me, getting the Batmobile next month, it will be very different than if I got it a year from now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So. And I think that is, again, like, in McFarland's favor to be like, like, I don't need your crowdfunding to, like, decide whether or not this is going to go to tooling and then making it. And then we're going to decide what the package is going to look like. He did all that already. And, like, it would be cool to be like, Maybe if this had gotten backed, we would get, like, a Batman. You would get, like, something else to go yeah. with it. And, like, there are some more bells and whistles that could have been attached to it. But, like, I would rather just pass on those to just have the offering there. And, like, mm-hmm. there is always the risk that, like, this is going to go on clearance or, like, there will be some sort of sale. And, like, I think there are discount codes you can use right now to get, like, 10% off or at least 5% off, stuff like that. Yeah. But, like... I don't know. It's just like the balls on this guy to be like, I don't care if it goes on clearance. I'm making a cool, ginormous Batman airplane. And then for, I, I don't know, going back to the price, we paid You know why he did that, though? Why'd he do that? Because it's f***ing cool. <laughs> <laughs> don't need a reason as long as it's going to be cool. Um, but yeah, we paid 400 bucks, 420 after uh, taxes for... Galactus, which would be more now because we would have to pay for yeah. shipping. Because when we bought Galactus, that was when Hasbro was doing free shipping if you spent over fifty bucks. I mean, you're still gonna have to pay shipping on the two fifty for the Batwing, but like the bo- I measured out the box because I still have the Haslab box over here. Mm-hmm. The Batwing itself is like two inches shy of like the length and height of the box that Galactus wow. came in. That's so huge. It's it's taller than Galactus. It's I don't know if like Galactus. Put <laughs> it's like, what are you even gonna do with that thing? Oh, I have no idea. You'd have to have like, like, like this how area you... is not enough to display. Like that's we what I'm saying. Really do it. Like the Batmobile is plenty big for. I'm us. sure you can make a sweet display. You'd almost need like oh, yeah. a half a room just to like mm-hmm. stage it, <laughs> right? right? So like I would imagine like if I had my man cave in like it'd be hanging from the ceiling and like. But even then, like, I'd have to have it, like, turned sideways like he's, like, flying so around a corner. It. Right. So I think just, like, this has got to be so fun, like, when you get it to just hold something that big. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm curi- I'm going to be really curious to see when people get it, what it looks mm-hmm. like or, you know, what, yeah. uh, what, what setups they do with it. And I think 
this one has the potential to be pretty crazy down the road. Like I imagine in like five years when like nobody else is really making a giant bat wing. Yeah. Like this is probably going to be one of the greats. Like there are some other options out there to get, yeah. but like the sheer size of this guy is nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's like, so we haven't even really talked too much about the Batmobile, but mm-hmm. you're pretty excited for that, right? I am, man. I mean, I, I kind of passed when they first announced it. Cause I was mm-hmm. like, again, sort of the things we've talked about, you know, will it still be available? Will it go on clearance? Mm-hmm. You know, especially with a sixty dollar thing, it's like, man, if it goes down to forty or thirty five, mm-hmm. I'll feel dumb. So I remember I was stoked for the um, the Batman uh, mm-hmm. motorcycle, which I think I paid pretty close to full price for, and then it was down to like ten bucks eventually. It's like, yeah, but still, it was cool to get it mm-hmm. when the movie was coming out. So yeah, you got to think about that. Um, but yeah, I let it pass and then it did sell out and then i saw today people were posting it was on amazon so Mm. you know i was like at the very least this could be an investment piece but Mm -hmm. at the most you know i don't know if i if i get stuck with it i won't be upset i'll say that for sure but um i don't know so because you have your old like Batman 89 from, I can't <laughs> remember what line. NECA? Yeah. His leg immediately broke when he came out of the package. Oh, so that's right. You were going to pose him kind of behind the Batmobile like he's jumping. Well, out. I was going to have, um, what's our, our buddy's name? Bill. Oh, yeah. Fix him up. But I was like, probably not worth it because I think mm-hmm. it would have cost like 30 bucks. And, and then shipping like, too. Yeah. And then it's like, am I really going to put Batman 89? I mean, that's kind of the whole point of that costume is you know he's Mm -hmm. like can't turn his head yeah so so like almost famously in that movie like it looks almost weird would look weird in the new one if he was like moving his head around because it's like wait batman 89 is like this stiff almost Mm -hmm. like terminator like guy (laughs) so hey i don't think that's a huge deal I, i guess i'm still hoping that mcfarlane will do a classic 89 do you think I really Is there don't any think chance? So. I mean, yeah, there's not? always a chance. I just doubt it. Like, why not? I think People this is the. I, I think this is the one. He's just like, here's your '89 Batman. It's not really '89 Batman though, dude. Yeah, it's like, like I would assume 2023 be... version of '89 Batman. It's, it's... But that's probably where like the problem would come in of like he can't do the '89 Batman. Like, there's got to be some sort of rights issue there where it's like. Maybe DC doesn't technically have those rights, and he can only make DC figures. So since this is a but newer he, version of '89, you know? I don't know how it works. Honestly, but when, next time he comes on the podcast, we'll ask him if it's Todd, possible. But, Todd, can you make an '89 classic? <laughs> that would just and then he can uh, say, "Yeah, it's right here," and you'll be like, "No, Todd, yeah, that's not it." <laughs> I, I think he would knock that out of the park. To be quite yeah. honest, and I think people will go nuts about it. Yeah. I could see that. Like, maybe if there's a scene in the movie where there's, like, a flashback to the classics, he could get away with doing, like, a mm. gold label yeah. uh, 89 Batman. I would go I think, nuts for that. I could see that being the case as, like, a gold label. Because he does do, like, it's just a slight variation of the costume, and then you'd have what you're looking That's what for. what I'm saying. It's possible. I don't think it's likely, but it's possible. I think if you were, like, needing an 89 Batman, I would just get the one that he's got for the movie and say it's close enough or go back and get like an old figure, something like that. But yeah, I don't know. Todd, I I know you're listening. So please make it happen. And I thought that it was cool because at first I saw the Batman's like the movie Batman's coming out and they had soft, good capes. So I was like, Oh, that's kind of interesting. Like admittedly, I think those capes look kind of junky. They look so cheap. Yeah. Compared to like what, mayfax is doing but like even then i don't expect mcfarland to be at the same level as mayfax but then looking at mcfarland or not mcfarland but uh mythic legions and their soft goods it's like yeah it's a little bit better yeah so but so what are you getting at but just that like it was i think it was a cool idea that he decided to do a cloth good cape so that you could fit batman in there because if he had a plastic rubbery cape there's no way he would ever fit in those vehicles you'd have to like cut it off or something like that yeah, those those capes just look like they're garbage. But like, how much are you gonna care about that when Batman's sitting in his Batmobile, and like, 
I don't You're know. You're not going to really I, see his I cape. mean, can you even see Batman in his Batmobile? I mean, he just... He's got windows. <laughs> I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. I think it's that cool. feature that feature almost has no appeal to me whether it can fit Batman or not. Oh, interesting. I feel like that's kind of like a main, like if you if it doesn't fit in there, then it's like there is. I no mean, if to a if hazard. I were like playing with it, you know, like mm-hmm. obviously if I were a kid, yeah, I'd be mad if Batman couldn't fit in the Batmobile. But I yeah. guess at this point, I'm like, you can use your imagination. At this point, Dakota, I've <laughs> as you can see behind me you viewers online i have some new additions to my display <laughs> recently become a mezco man and when you become a mezco man dakota things change a little bit yeah no i don't know i still think that's like a it's a necessity like batman has to fit in these vehicles <laughs> what why, why would he not like otherwise what's the <laughs> point like you're gonna have a vehicle that just like doesn't have batman in it <laughs> can't you imagine that it's got him in there it's got to have him in there. <laughs> Why would, like, like, I don't understand. Would you look at it and be like, he's yeah, bad. He's not like, piloting that. Yeah. I'd just be like, oh, it's like a, it's like a cheap toy statue. Like you can't really, I think it just adds, like it makes it fit the line. Like yeah. if it doesn't fit the figure, then it's not really a part of the line. Like it's just like a separate thing. Away well, I mean, from... you can even have it fit the figure, but like, I don't know. Could you just give me a swappable, like, I think that would make sense. Like, yeah, if you could just, like, pop the cape off and slide him in there, that'd be okay. I'd be okay with that. That's what I'm saying is you could have just had a plastic cape, you pop it off, and then he fits in there. Everybody's happy. Yeah. I don't Uh, know. Gold label. Gold label. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I could see him doing a gold label with, like, like an actual plasticky cape. Yeah. And that's, like, the only difference. But I still think it's cool that, like, I mean, yeah, Hasbro is trying to do soft goods with their like lab coat beast but like that also is like crap so no i agree i mean i would like you said it's earlier i guess it's just like is it really adding to the value for me Mm -hmm. i don't know like i guess with that beast i do remember thinking like this was not worth whatever made him like sure more specialty so Mm -hmm. i guess with the batman i don't know Maybe I'm just mad that he didn't give me a classic 89 Batman, so I'm just yeah. salty. But I mean, still, it's like a $20 figure. Like, you can't be expecting Mayfax. I think 25 No, I'm on the McFarland site right now, and because I was just, I was going to make sure I was given the right info when I was telling you why you're wrong and I'm right. <laughs> and yeah, the figures are 20 bucks. Yeah. So, I say you yeah. calm your tits, Jordan. <laughs> 20 bucks for a crappy cape is just I'm, fine. I'm not saying like it's not worth 20. I don't know. I, I guess this is more like my feelings on do I need the figure oh, yeah. to come in and out of the vehicle? Okay. Maybe. maybe. Maybe when I get it, I'll open it and be like, this is awesome. You can put figures in here. Yeah. Probably. Because then at that point, <laughs> I could be like, start having fun and just throwing crazy figures in there, you know? Yeah. Or, like, put a classic Batman in there. Yeah. Or like I the... mean, I would think the you could put your uh, year two Batman in there. Because mm-hmm. that's a soft goods cape. I mean, it's not going to be your 89 Batman. I don't know how you feel about mixing the blues and the black, but it could be cool. Then you've got the real good soft goods cape, which, yeah, that's a good point. He's done that soft goods cape. That's what I'm saying. Why don't we get that? It's oh, a better right, cape. That right. yeah, is a better cape. We'll ask him when he's on the podcast next. <laughs> Um, also todd where are replacement arms because you told us about those and <laughs> yeah that, that's true I, and i knew when he said that i was like <laughs> he's feeding us a no load of crap way. that's that's not happening ever <laughs> like i can call his customer service and they're gonna be like who told you this I'm like todd <laughs> well, <And he's> like, <laughs> <laughs> we'll pass it up the chain <laughs> right so oh. yeah, i don't know um yeah Anyway, one last little graphic yeah. that I thought was kind of cool, the like comparing the Engine of Vengeance and um, the McFarlane offerings. You've got just your base level of the Engine of Vengeance. You got Robbie with his human head, chains, weapons, extra tires, flame effects for three fifty, or for ten dollars less, you can get a Batwing bigger than Galactus. You can get a Batmobile and a Batcycle. <laughs> and when you look at it like that. 
that's, <laughs> again, like, yeah, the Batmobile looks a little plasticky, kind of kiddish compared to what the Engine of Vengeance looks like. But just, like, that sheer amount of plastic, like Todd likes yeah. to do, you, it's hard to argue that a Batwing, a Batmobile, and a Bat Cycle yeah. for the same price as a Robbie Reyes car. Eh. And, like, I've read those comics now. Like, I hadn't read the comics at the time, and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, this is a cool figure. I don't need to know much about the figure. Probably should have left it that way because so far I've read two storylines with Robbie in it. Eh. They're, <laughs> you can get through their quick I have, reads. I haven't read them, so yeah. I don't know. I mean, they're quick reads, but it's just kind of like... You weren't like, this is a character that needs a Haslab. Right, exactly. Like, And I think it. looking back, I probably would have been like, yeah, this would have made sense to just do like a triple action motorcycle crew with like a new Johnny Blaze, Danny that's, Patch. And that's, that's what I said. No, I agree now. Because I, I thought I was like, no, Jordan, <laughs> this has got to be a cool character. Like, look at him. He's got a car. Is like metal man. That's why face. I had no enthusiasm for him at all. I was just from the beginning like, me really yeah i don't know all right well i'm more on board with you i'm i'm kind of glad i didn't get that engine of vengeance i mean it still probably would have been a cool figure but not 350 and the storyline definitely doesn't sell it so i'll read some more stuff where he's like a part of cruise like i think he's in some um, people liked him because he was in that agents of shield show for a while okay so i think that kind of like revived his popularity or boosted it but gotcha. I never watched that, so mm-hmm. I don't know. And I don't think he's going to be part of the MCU moving forward, so. Yeah, I don't know. It would be kind of cool to, like, I I think he would be easy enough to put in the MCU. I just so. feel like they might want to do a more classic version, you know? Yeah, I mean, I could see both. Like a Blaze or a Catch type. Yeah. Or, like, have Danny Catch be Ghost Rider, but there was Johnny Blaze before him mm-hmm. and make him the older mentor. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, that'd be cool. And I think it all could happen. I don't know. The MCU doesn't seem like it's slowing down, so maybe in 10 well, years. they're in trouble. Are they? Remember the Jonathan Majors thing? Well, yeah, just recast him or something if it's that big a deal. <laughs> Never really cared about Kang that much anyway. <laughs> so, no. I mean, it is kind of hard. Dakota to says think. don't sweat it, Disney. Yeah, I say don't sweat it. I mean, yeah, it's probably like. But I mean, just he's like a new so, variant takes over. Exactly, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Like, <laughs> all right, yep, we uh, killed, killed the off one, the uh, other one, and now here's the new variant. And there boom, you go. No more problems. He's out. <laughs> he's probably the easiest one to replace. Honestly, <laughs> he's so. easier to replace than like low tier characters because you can't right. explain it. Apparently, he's. I mean, I, I would think he's got to be easier to replace, but like. I don't know. DC still doesn't replace Ezra Miller, so <laughs> maybe the big movie business just doesn't care. <laughs> like if the budget's big enough, you can do what you want to do, and we'll work around it. So <laughs> that's a lesson on society for you, folks. <laughs> Tune in to Dakota's that, next podcast. Yeah. Eat the rich. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> I don't think I got anything more on this, unless you do, Jordan. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm, I think, I do th- agree with you. I think this is simultaneously a win for McFarlane and kind of a big middle finger to be like, well, here's what you guys can do. Here's mine, you know? Yeah. So. For true. All right. Let us know what you guys think. Are oh, we... sidebar. Oh, okay. What if we ever get the Justice League, uh, the Javelin? Isn't that what their ship was? Mm. Cartoon? I would, I would. People I would want that. buy it. But I would be more excited about like a animated javelin. I, think I mean, people would, it would be kind of that cool one would have, have to be more Batwing size. Yeah, because don't they sure. all go in? Could you imagine you can fit all? How is that five, seven? Fi- I guess I'm just saying, that? like if if Haslab does a Quinjet, he would probably have to do something like that. Yeah, I really hope Haslab does do a Quinjet because then I wouldn't have to buy it. Maybe we'll talk about that some other time, too, what we think is going to be coming for Marvel's Avengers Haslab. Um, yeah, that'd be a good one. But yeah, I mean, you could do a, maybe McFarlane's going to put out an invisible jet for Wonder Woman. <laughs> so, here it is, folks. <laughs> <laughs> just all translucent pieces. Oh, but I, I was mean, thinking even then, just an empty just, box. Yeah, you could definitely do that. I, 
I mean, I think if I did have like all these different vehicles, I would just pose one or one up like as if she's sitting holding a steering wheel. Um, all right. Invisible jet. Yeah. All yeah. right. I think that's all we got for the McFarlane has lab. <laughs> Let us know what you think. Are we just crazy people that like don't understand the value of what we could have had with Robbie Reyes or are you with us where Todd's giving the middle finger to Hasbro and we're all here for it. <laughs> Make sure you leave the comments down below like, and share the podcast everywhere. And until next time, stay strong. Stay strong.